Hello, good morning, welcome back to the fish locker out on the boat. Chris and I are out today to try for a thresher shark. First order of the day, let's try and find some bait. There they are. Everything from below the boat to 14 metres out. Oh, there's a big fish there on bottom. See, it just chest them there, look. That's a tuna. <laughs> oh, that bait fish is gone. <clears throat> right in amongst them all. Yeah, we're out for a thresher shark. I did not know if this one in the middle. <laughs> Bad listening. The trot is a little bit close to the rock. Soon, no, you'd be right. Like, <laughs> well, I've stopped it out there. Yeah, just leave it out there. <laughs> <laughs> you do want to swap over anyway? Uh, well, this is your rod and that one's mine. <laughs> but this doesn't feel very big. I'm getting lying on this really easily. Tell me where you want to go. Yeah, that's fine. Unless it's more balls. <laughs> well, do you want the harness or not? Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> What the idea was this? <laughs> That's the same. We did have two baits out for threshers. But I don't think it's threshers that we've hooked. <laughs> that look on your face, but you don't look like you're enjoying yourself to be honest. I'm not enjoying this. Hmm? Forward reverse. He's alright where he is, he's pinwheeling. Yeah, you're at 25 metres, mate.
Okay, we can knock it forward a little bit. Forward to pop? Yeah. Not forward to starboard. Yeah, sorry, I'm pressing it. Double sweating on fucking hookups this year. <laughs> <laughs> I thought if I can lean to this and drag the boat that way. Yeah. Forward and down. Yeah. Right, it's just a dim wheel on your left. Yeah, that's down as well. You're at eight metres. There's one. That's quite painful that though, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I was just gonna say. Even though it was only a small one, that was full bareback. Oh, let's see what we can do with this guy. Yeah, that's it. Just, I feel it's just sitting yeah. broadside, isn't it? 
Because yours has been out there not doing anything gear the roof revives, so yeah. it'll take a bit longer to get in. Yeah. <laughs> really lucky the fact that we'd managed to keep the two fish apart. Just because if they'd gone round each other, the lines would have just parted clean off. As it is, all we did was just took the choice because Chris's one hooked up first. I knew mine wasn't a very big fish, I could tell straight away. So that's why I decided, you let one run. Eat whichever you think's the easiest one, just get to the boat as quick as you can. Just back the drag off on this and let it get out to distance. So we could deal with the first one. And then this, this one you can take your time bringing it in at distance. You do me a quick further. Mm -hmm. I like, it when the, I like it when the line catches up. Mm. Line goes like whoa. I mean, Jesus, we can't be. The fish must be almost on the surface. Yeah, it will be. I did that. I tried to do a boat thinking, you know, this is easy. We went down, it took me about an hour and a half to get it in, so <laughs> don't let it pull in. I can do it up a little bit more. I don't like to have it too hard. I like to first use my hand and stop it. You see how they should? No, I'm, 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 I'm for it, but I love it. Could be better than fighting a big fish on your own boat in your own turf. We knew pretty much straight away that this wasn't going to be a thresher shark. Just because textbook of a thresher is as soon as they hook up, they jump out the water. And these two just blitzed it in other directions. And also it's is it the tail beat that you can feel? Yeah, you can feel just goes like da 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 da. I don't know if you can see it with a camera, but the fish is about 20 metres out now, up near the surface. Five meters. Come on, up you come.
15 metres. There's a fair few of them with it now. It's meant encouraging it. <laughs> It's not all small on my back now. Yeah, it's down to 45 metres. <laughs> Playing it higher up, I could get more purchase on it, but now it's not breaking your back. Yep, we are. 15. Yeah. Stop, it's just going to pinwheel when I stop. Coming up. Size fish, but that's how big it is. What we're doing there now is we're towing the towing the fish along, just so that there's plenty of oxygenated water over its gills until its tail properly starts beating. You just drop it back a little bit and they'll get it. I'm going to swing around, coming around to port, mate. Yeah, until this tail properly. Because we've tied it out in the fight, Chris is just keeping its head just under the water so it gets plenty of oxygenated water off its gears. Measured that in at 83 inches. It wasn't the thrusher shark we were after, but I'll take that as a good second best. Now, the laws in the UK at the moment are very strict on tuna. You aren't allowed to target them, you aren't allowed to land them. But an accidental bycatch like that is... It's unfortunate, but I'll... Yeah, it happens. But yeah, you're not allowed to target tuna. Not yet, anyway. We're we'll starting that drift together. Yeah, try again. Try again. <laughs> That's a double figure fish. <laughs> it's an absolute clunker. That is, that's, that's, that's a double figure fish now. There's the lure in his mouth. What a beauty. Of course I got this fish over a shallow reef. Coming to the turn in the tide now, and as you can see, he's starting to get really sloppy. We've only really got a short weather window for the morning of fishing. So we're going to try and finish it off with a bass. 
the area where we're fishing for active pressure shark just got very uncomfortable. This one is probably going to be about legal. Too small in my opinion, but I reckon he's going to be about legal. Forty-four centimeters. So yeah, that is a legal size bass. But I'm after something bigger. You were that noodle of a rod. Get floppy rod of yours. What we're doing here is we're just drifting over an area of a reef the seabed's really up and down. Of course we're only using little lures or casting up towards where we're drifting. We're drifting that way, so we're casting up. So as we get on top of it, our lures are at the bottom. A couple of bounces and then some white. Time of year, they're all in prime position now, aren't they? Feels more like a balance.
There's the fish. There is a rope down there, look. Yeah. Oh, sorry, let's tell. Two seconds, just show me the... You were, you were alternating between these, weren't you? Yeah, so it depended where we were. So the lighter ones, I'm showing it obviously when we were on the shallow ground. Yeah, everything. Using the lighter lures, and then the heavier heads when we're drifting a little bit faster and on the deeper ground, just so you were getting down there. Yeah, these are basically drop down and reel up. The other ones are cast and reel over like, over the top of the pinnacle, things like that. Well, that was it, man's, man's a lot lighter. This is more of a... I'd cast this one up and then bounce this one on the bottom a couple of times, let it get some distance from the boat and then wind it in so it chases. The marks that we were fishing over here, the deeper marks, I would have gone, if I'd had some heavier heads, I would have probably gone with the heavier lures. But the shallower ones, the little 15, 20, 25 grams, perfect. Before this tide turns and gets really sloppy, we are going to head back in. I hope you've enjoyed joining us, hope you found it interesting, all the very best. See you later. Let's go. Mm.